Alright guys, we're back and there's a new character. Two new characters. <laughs> Alright, so this is So this is the charged kitty tail and it's a dark dual sword. Alright, so to be honest, I don't really like them. I mean, there's already a dual sword Kirito that is dark there is two asuna at least two asuna that is dark i mean how many asunas and how many kiritos can you need or you know require with the same element right it's the same freaking thing but anyways let's go on in here so other than having a super strong incarnation and being able to yell break, the character is pretty much useless. I mean, it attacks, it lowers the enemy's physical resist by one, I mean 20% for one turn. The attack does extra damage when the enemy is inflicted with physical debuff. So, I don't even use break yell that much. For dark, so I don't know. I mean, I don't really care to be honest, and it's certainly not worth the diamond cubes. It's not a limited edition character either, so you can either get it, try to get it, or whatever. But I don't know. It's up to you. Let's look at Asuna. I think the last three characters were Asunas. You had the the flower looking asuna and then you had the other dark asuna which is the enhanced mode which is better so this is a baa character which i think sucks it's a recollection field character that's kind of good right but i'm not a big fan of having too many asunas the break isn't high But the recollection field is good. And the problem with it's a BAA, I mean, the first day is okay. I don't know, the third day is usually useless. I don't know, I mean, it's not a limited edition character. I just don't feel like spending the diamond cubes for it. What the hell was that? See? They had this asana. And before this asana, they had this asana. And then now they have a new asana. And my Kirito, which is the recollection field character, right? I already took him to level 120. So there's no way for me to replace him with asana. Even though asana is stronger, right? I mean, it would be dumb. And then Edis is a pretty good character. Pretty good breaker too. So having her there... I have to have her there. While the charge for this enhanced mode character is higher. So having her there is important. And then of course I had the the Yuki there. She's level 120. There's no way I'm taking her out. So the only character I could take out is Asuna. And I don't know. I mean if I wanted a high break character. I'd put him. Right. Or you could have Kirito, the other Yell Break character. But, 
totally skippable characters. You don't really have to buy them. They're nothing special. Not extraordinary. I mean, they're there. They have their place in this event. But that's all. They have their place in this event. No other event. Right? I mean, it, the other event is probably useless. But in this event, it's important. And if you wanted to rank, too. Yeah, I don't have good feel about the character. It's there, but it's not worth the premium currency. And I'm going to skip it completely. I'm not playing this game where you're buying every freaking scout f for the characters, right? Alright, anyways, that's my two cents.